Talal Alamadine 29, the brother of alleged underworld boss Rafat Alamadeen, was cut on the shoulder and face, during what police described as a physical altercation with a 21-year-old prisoner in the jail's recreational area. Police were called to the prison about midday following reports of a stabbing. Officers were told two male inmates, aged 21 and 29, were involved in a physical altercation in a recreational area of the facility. Talal was taken to Goulburn Base Hospital on Saturday for treatment of minor stab wounds and lacerations. The younger man was uninjured. Detectives from the State Crime Command's Criminal Group Squad and the Hume Police District are investigating further as is Corrective Services. A Corrective Services spokesman confirmed the altercation occurred within the High Risk Management Unit, known as Supermax, at 11 a.m. 23rd of January 2022. The department declined to supply further details. A spokesman did however say that no officers were involved, and the facility did not go into lockdown as a result. It's understood to law return to the prison Sunday afternoon. Talal is behind bars for supplying the gun used to kill NSW police accountant Curtis Chang, at Parramatta. Around two men will appear in court today over their alleged connection to the radicalised Sydney teenager who killed New South Wales police employee Curtis Cheng. 18-year-old Raban Alou has been charged with a Commonwealth terrorism offence and will face central local court today. 22-year-old Talal Alamadeen is accused of supplying the gun used to kill Mr Cheng. The man who supplied the gun that killed police worker Curtis Cheng in a terrorist attack in Parramatta has been jailed for at least 13 years. Talal was arrested in 2015 for supplying Smith & Wesson revolver to an associate who then passed it on to radicalized 15-year-old gunman Farhad Jabbar. Just hours after this gun transaction, Jabbar would use the weapon to gun down Cheng, outside police headquarters at Parramatta. Jabbar is then shot dead by police. Talal pleaded guilty for supplying the pistol, and was jailed for a maximum of 17 years in prison. He is eligible for parole in 2029. Talal is the brother of Rafat Alamadine, leader of the Alamadine Crime Network, who are longtime rivals of Sydney's Hamzy gang. Talal was also in news in 2018, when footage captured a wild brawl between him and Bassam Hamzy inside one of our toughest prisons. Taken inside Goulburn Supermax prison, the footage shows Bassam Hamzy, 39, and Talal Alamadine bashing each other during an altercation. The inmates were having an animated discussion, understood to be in relation to the balance of power inside the prison, while in the rear yard of the correctional center before punches were thrown. The court heard that despite allegations Talal inflicted more damage on Hamzi out of the view of cameras, this could not be used in evidence against him. Talal received no added time for his brutal prison fight. Experts say these recent attacks could be linked to the latest killing of Hamzi family member Gassan Amun.